Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is race number two. The 2019 NOF SRL Krispy Kreme series. We are here at the South Boston Speedway. It's the HERS Potato Chips 200, a 50 lap event here around this point. Four mile speedway in South Boston, Virginia. It's the shortest track on the circuit here in the Krispy Kreme series, and we're back for some more short check action. The one and only race we hold here on Napa Fan each and every year, so it's gonna be interesting to see who gets it done. Earlier tonight in qualifying, Austin Colano pulled off the fastest time, and he's gonna be leading the field with the green flag. Now, since this is a short track, passing could be a little bit difficult here, so it could be Colano's first career Napa Fan win here tonight. We might also see some restarts here tonight as well, and they can always get very interesting. As you can see these guys shoot up the racetrack just a little bit. The guy behind them get to the inside. This is how they line up in the championship standings after the thrilling race at Daytona two weeks ago. Audra Baranowski gets the race winner there. 26 points towards the championship for her. Carter Friesen and Noah Cars are tied for the second position in points. They are both four points behind. And then it's Cody Sill, seven points behind. And Dylan Kroom, rookie driver to Napa fan, eight points behind coming into tonight's event on the pole position, like I mentioned. It is the 03 of Austin Kilano alongside him, another first time Napa fan. Driver, that's Mitch Hobbs in the number nine machine. Both of them in their second career starts. Of course, their first career starts came two weeks ago at Daytona. Number 38 machine of Thomas Troxels alongside the number 14 of Eric Miller. Eric Miller started on the pole at Daytona last week. Another great qualifying effort out of that team. At Cody Sill, the number 28 alongside Dylan Kroom, who is fifth in the championship standing, starting sixth. Then you got yourselves the number 69, Noah Cars who led more laps than anybody else at Daytona two weeks ago. He is starting alongside the number 18, I do believe, driven by Aaron Wolfe. Wolfe getting a very good starting position right there. And then we have the number 21 of Jonathan Logan, alongside the 11 of Victor Delgado. So the top 10 starting positions here from the South of Boston Speedway. Everybody rolling off all right, 22 cars strong. And that's a good field size for a track this small. So we'll have to see how that plays into who gets the race victory here at South Boston. It's the HERS Potato Chips 200. The second race of the season is green from Sobo. One led by Austin Kawano, the 03 with a bonus point towards the championship right there. Thomas Trotzel with a run on the inside there, and Cody Sill as well. Mitch Hobbs getting stuck in the outside lane, and he is falling back. That outside lane definitely not where you wanted to be. The start of this one, but Kawano holding on to the race lead. Troxel, however, looking to get a run on the rookie driver. He might have it here in the number 38 of the route. Eric Miller down the back stretch, and he's going to go around into him, Ryan Kingart. And in the wall, Carter Friesen, first caution of the night here at South Boston. So that's going to give these guys a little bit of a great a break, I should say. Quick caution here in the HERS Potato Chips 200. You can definitely tell the action's really fast here. And that's a tough break for Eric Miller because he had a good run going for him at Daytona as well. Like I mentioned, started on the pole in that race. And I believe he was caught up in the accident and caught up in another accident. Two races in a row for him in his first career Napa Fan Series. But uh, he's definitely shown a lot of strength. Just got caught up in the wrong place at the wrong time there in that one. Austin Colano won the race back to the line. Let's go ahead and see what happened to Eric Miller to bring out the first caution of the night here at South Boston. They were three wide here through turn number two. That is Christopher Alphaby on the inside of Ashland Boyd, and Eric Miller has absolutely nowhere to go here. Dylan Kroom actually slides up into him and spins the 14 around. Tristan Allen moves up in the Kroom, and Kroom doesn't have anywhere to go except send the number 14 around down the back straightaway. You're going to see right here as Kroom spins him around right. Kingart gets into him, and the 22 machine as well got a piece of that one. Uh, that Juan Garcia there. 
and uh, so did Carter Friesen get a bit of that as well. But all these guys should be able to continue. Gonna replay it one more time. And replay this in real time. Of course, we saw it happen live. Dylan Kroom getting into Eric Miller and around going the 14. Ryan King are nowhere to go. Bit of damage on the 22, bit of damage on the 77. But like I mentioned, all these guys should be able to continue. No massively hard hits, so... We should still have 22 drivers on the race track, all on the lead lap when we restart with Austin Colano leading the field in the number 03. Let's see what he does on the restart here in the HERS Potato Chips 200 from South Boston. Back here at Sobo, second race of the season in the NOFSRL Krispy Kreme series and all these guys with that second chance opportunity to race this fall, including first time drivers like Austin Colano, Eric Miller, Dylan Kroom, of course, the latter of those three right there were involved in the accident but the top guy there, Austin Colano in the 03, Thomas Trotzel Cody Sill, Jonathan Logan Noah Cars, green flag back in the air lap 8 of 50 in the Hers Potato Chips 200 and this time Colano got a great jump and almost going around Christopher Alphaby and Mitch Hobbs Hobbs in the outside wall and he's going to lose a ton of ground again. He started on the outside pole for this race, and he continues to fall back. Aaron Walpole in the middle of all this, but a devastating day there for the driver of the number nine. Austin Kalana, whoever, taking advantage of the opportunity he was given, winning the pole position here at South Boston. Cody Sill going for second on Thomas Troxel and Sills got the advantage for the second position. Here comes Noah Cars in the 69. Cars gonna get a run to the inside as well. That's for third. Here comes Aslan Boyd on Jonathan Logan. Battle for the fifth position right there is the side-by-side. -side. Wolf a little bit loose off the corner to the inside of Larry Hagen back in there. Gonna move right here. Audrey Baranowskis, winner of the first race of the season to the inside of Wade Lindell. Wade Lindell, one of those drivers who was up there in that Daytona race. Trying to get something to work here at South Boston. Christopher Alfie trying to move his way through the field as well. To the inside of Thomas Troxel, Ashland Boyd. Another caution on the racetrack. Ryan King or Dale Salzman. Second yellow of the night here at South Boston. And it looks like our defending champion is not going to continue after that. He's got significant front end damage and he is indicating he will be going to the pit lane and he will. So it looks like today is going to be done for Ryan King or Dale Solzman, also with damage. Austin Colano is going to have to deal with another restart here at South Boston. Let's quickly see what happened to Solzman and Kinghart. Bring out the second caution of the night here at South Boston Speedway. Solzman. And it's Dylan Kroom again in a tight situation. And Ryan Kinghart getting into the guy who got spun around just like the first accident. Salzman, nowhere to go right there as Kroom and Mitch Hobbs got into it, came down on him. Ryan Kinger ran right into him, effectively ending King Art's day here at South Boston. Not a great start to the season for our defending champion of the Krispy Kreme series. Austin Colano, however, looking pretty good here tonight, but he's still got a long ways to go before this race is done. And he has got a three-time Chick-fil-A Cup Series race winner behind him in the name of Cody Zill. Let's see what Cody Zill can do on the restart here at South Boston. We're back here, ready for a second restart of the night in the NOFSRL Krispy Kreme Series from South Boston. Oh, brother, I forgot we kept that on. Well, uh, we're going to have a car starting on the inside here. Uh, just for this race specifically, that's Ryan Kinger on the inside lane. Uh, to give a little insight, my computer crashed a couple days ago and it reset all the settings in NR, so uh, that's one setting that I forgot to change back. We'll have to see what these guys can do with Ryan Kinger on the inside. Kalano, Sill, Cars, Boyd, and Trotzel, the top five on the restart. And that really helped out Austin Kalana right there. Ryan Kinghart being on the inside there. He's obviously not going to be going as fast as everybody else. That'll definitely play an effect on who gets the race victory. You got Thomas Trotzel trying to rebound after getting passed multiple times under that last green flag run. He's got to run to the inside of Noah Cars. How about Baranowskis to the inside of Ashland Boyd and Noah Cars. She's going to move her way into the fourth position. Christopher Alphaby as well with a great run in the number one machine. Great job by all of these guys here tonight. We're running in the top five, including Austin Colano, but 
Cody Sill looks to have a rather fast race car and uh, he may be closing in here soon. Ryan King are around in the outside wall. And hard into him. Dylan Kroom in the number 20. And Victor Delgado had absolutely nowhere to go. King Hart and Kroom are definitely going to be out of the race. Delgado, hopefully, going to get going there. But our third caution, and we're not even halfway through this one here at the South Boston Speedway. Bit of a wreck fest here tonight down in Virginia. Lawson well, Kalano is going to get an extra bonus point towards the championship. He's going to lead the most laps in this one, but he's still going to have a lot of work to do before he can grab the race victory. We saw it happen right there. Noah Cars got in, and Ryan Kinger, then Dylan Kroom came and smashed right into him. Let's go ahead and see what happened to bring out the third caution of the night here in the HERS Potato Chips 200. Well, Ryan Kinger got uh, stuck in the outside lane right there. And Noah Cars tried to peek to the inside and uh, spun that 57 around. Actually got him loose, really. And right here, Dylan Kroom has nowhere to go. And you can see the 57 flying through the air and Delgado getting caught up as well. Delgado had absolutely nowhere to go. He was actually waiting for them to uh, teleport to the pit lane before he got going. And the number 11, uh, Victor Delgado, with heavy damage in this one from South Boston. One guy who's not had any trouble tonight, that's the 03 of Austin Kalana. We're going to have to see what he does on the restart here in the HERS Potato Chips 200 from South Boston. Race leader, Austin Kalano. We're going to be restarting a lap 28 of 50 with 23 laps to go here in the HERS Potato Chips 200. Kalano with a bonus point towards the championship for leading every lap so far in tonight's event. However, he's going to have to hold off Cody Sill, Thomas Trisel, our last winner, Audra Baranowskis, and the number one machine of Christopher Althby. That's the top five drivers out of the race. Include Delgado, Kroom, and Kinghart. If Eric Miller a lap down in the number 14. He actually might be out as well. And you see Thomas Troxel move up, and Baranowskis has been moving her way through the field very well here tonight. And Cody Sills got a run here on Austin Kalano for the race lead. And a great night for Cody Sills, and a great night for Roger Baranowskis. Christopher Alphaby. And Alphaby started midway through the field here tonight. He's already up to the third position. Doing a great job on these restarts, getting around these drivers, and Baranowski gets way up the racetrack right there. Here comes Larry Hagen in the 54. No, Baranowski is going to go two in a row here in the Arca Racing Series. We'll have to see what she can do on this outside lane ahead of Larry Hagen. Looks like Hagen's going to have that advantage on the inside of her. And Christopher Alphamy might get a run here on Cody Sill. And right now, Austin Colano continuing to lead the field here. Cody Sill was unable to get a good run on him right there, and this might be Kalano's race to lose. Well, Cody Sill's in the outside wall. Problem on the number 28, Alphaby to the second position. And the number one machine trying to be number one here tonight at South Boston. So much scrambling going on back in the field. That is Thomas Troxel, who was up in the top five most of this race. He has fallen outside the top 10 at this point. But just, yeah, he's now outside the top 10 as Wade Lindell moves to the inside of him right there. You see Aaron Walpole there on the 44 machine of Zach Winkle. Ashlyn Boyd losing a lot of ground in the 55. No one can seem to catch Austin Colano. He's got a second lead on Christopher Alphaby. Larry Haggins looking to the inside of the number one. Cody Sill has fallen to the fifth position. And it might take another restart for anyone to get to the number 30, or the 03, I should say, of Austin Colano. Larry Hagen going for second on Christopher Alphaby. And Aaron Walpole moving his way up to the sixth position back in there. Wade Lindell as well moving his way through the field. Noah Carr is now stuck in the outside lane, falling back in the 69. How about Dale Salzman? He was caught up in one of those accidents not too long ago. He's cracking the top 10 here. That damaged race car. Great run for the number 19. And Eric Miller is officially out. Only 18 drivers left on the racetrack right now. Larry Hagen has gotten around Christopher Alphaby. Baranowskis will clear for third. And 
Now Larry Haggett has his eyes set on Austin Colano for this race win. Lap 38 of 50. We'll have to see if he can catch up to him. And Cody Sill and Aaron Walpole both closing in on Christopher Alphaby for fourth. Now Alphaby got shuffled out of line, lost a little bit of ground. And Brad Stover moving his way through the field as well. There goes Wade Lindell on Aaron Walpole. Unable to make the move. How about Dale Salzman? Around Brad Stover. That right there is for eighth. A great night for Dale Solzman, all things considered. There goes Cody Sill to the inside of the number one machine. Wade Lindell to the inside of Walpole. Sill back up to fourth. As Alphabee moves out of the way, he's going to fall to the fifth position at least. But Wade Lindell looking to take that back from the number one. There's been so much scrambling behind Austin Colano. But Colano has led every single lap up to this point. All 41 that have been completed up to this point here tonight in the Herbs Potato Chips 200. But Larry Hagen looking to find a way around the rookie driver. Of course, both of these drivers are relatively new. Larry Hagen did start his career in the Craftsman Throwback Series over the summer. But Baranowskis, definitely the driver of the most experience out of the top three. I have to see if Hagen finds any way to the 0-3. Austin Colano has led every lap tonight here at South Boston. Larry Hagen is in second, and he is closing in. Six laps to go in the Hers Potato Chips 200. That time by Hagen closed in by two tenths of a second. He's finding some speed in that number 54 machine. Working the outside right there. I don't know if that's what you want to do here at South Boston. And Hagen's got to be careful not to let Baranowskis close in on him. He lost a little bit of ground on that lap right there. He's trying to find some speed up top. And I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Hagen really lost it entering the corner right there. And that's going to seal the win, I think. Baranowskis for second. This will be a statement run for Audra Baranowskis. Winning the first race of the season. Finishing second here tonight. We'll have to see if she finds a way to the 0-3. And Kalana was really wide that time through the corner. Baranowskis did not actually lose that much ground. That last lap, 0.74. So we'll have to see. It's going to be two laps to go for Austin Kalano at South Boston. Will he grab his first career Napa fan win here tonight on the short track? Or will Baranowskis steal this one away? It's going to take a lot for Kalano not to win this race. Being the race leader, he has been flawless all night. He's going to take the white flag here at South Boston. Baranowskis looking to close in. She closed in a little bit there. Hagen has fallen back. He used up all his stuff in the number 54. But Baranowskis is a little too late. Austin Kalano, first career Napa fan win here tonight in the HERS Potato Chips 200 at South Boston. Baranowskis will finish second. No laps led for any driver other than Austin Kalano. But Baranowskis will remain the points leader. A first and a second place run so far for in the championship here in the Krispy Kreme series. It's been a great season for Audra Baranowskis. But a great night for Austin Kalano. Won the pole, led every single lap, not without a hard night's work. In that 03 machine, he had to earn that one. But Kalano getting it done in the Hers Potato Chips 200. Audra Baranowskis, Larry Hagen, the top three. Christopher Alphaby, Cody Sill, Aaron Wall, Paul Dale Solzman, Wade Lindell, and Jonathan Logan. And Brad Stover, the top ten. As you see the rest of the results right there on your screen. And the points, uh, we definitely know that this one is going to go to Audra Baranowskis. And uh, you can see the points right there with uh, Baranowskis still the race leader. Or should I say the points leader here in the uh, Krispy Kreme series. 47 points for her, but she's only 8 points ahead of our race winner here tonight, Austin Colano. Of course, with us being early on in the season... You can expect race winners to move their way through the field pretty well in points. Cody Sill, third. Aaron Walpole, 14 points behind. And Christopher Alfie, 17 points behind after this one. A great run for Alfie here tonight. He moved his way through the field very well in this one. As you see, the rest of the uh, point standings right there. Not a good start for Ryan Kingart. Only four championship points up to this point for Kingart. 
not exactly the way King are wanting it to go uh, starting off this season. There's only 10 races left in the season as well. And uh, not going to be much time for these guys to get some points towards the championship because it's going to be over before you know it here in the Krispy Kreme series. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Austin Calano on the race victory here at South Boston. Next week, gonna be the Menards 200 from Toledo, another place that we only go to in the Krispy Kreme series. Uh, that is next Friday afternoon at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I forget what the actual date of that's gonna be. I think it's October 3rd, October 4th, I should say. October 4th at 5 p.m. Eastern, the Menards 200 from the Toledo Speedway. That's going to be a great one there in the Buckeye State. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Austin Kalana. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern for the Circle K 150 from the ISM Raceway in the Turkey Hill Truck Series. I will see you guys later.